This is going to be one of the shortest videos in this entire course, and it's really one of the most important. Because if you look at anything as a whole, it can be overwhelming and it can be intimidating. And I mentioned on the board, you know, BGP anyone, but you don't have to have taken your CCNP route and T-shoot exams to have run into this. You probably ran into it when you first started studying networking. And you're just looking at it as a whole, and you've got this, you know, thick book you got at the, you know, got off Amazon or got at the store. And you're just like, wow, you know, I got to learn all this stuff. But once you break it down into smaller pieces, you know, man, you know, learn layer one first, then you learn switching at layer two and all those features, and then go on from there, you've got an organized plan and your chances of success, you know, grow exponentially. I mean, much better than if you just, you know, started working with the book and not really mastering one section before you move to another. Well, you may think, that sounds great, but what's that got to do with this section? Well, that's really what the Cisco IOS Network Foundation Protection does for us, NFP. That does sound like a Big Bang Theory episode, like the cooper Nowitzki Theorem and the Cisco IOS Network Foundation Protection. Well, what this does, it helps us to have an organized plan when it comes to protecting our networks. Because we're not just saying, okay, I'm going to get SSH set up, and then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to authenticate, uh, set up authentication with OSPF, and then I'll do this, and then I'll do this, and you're going back and forth. Because with NFP, what you're essentially doing is breaking the network down into three parts. And these parts certainly look familiar by this point in the course, because we've been securing them throughout the course. We've got the management plane, the control plane, and the data plane. And the quotes there are from a Cisco PDF that I'll actually put up on Udemy. It's from June 2005. Uh, it's still relevant, believe me. It's good stuff to read for the exam. And with the management plan, of course, we're talking about the ability to manage. But what exactly does that mean? Well, these are the protocols that we use to connect to routers and switches and authenticate and manage them and the related traffic that goes along with those management protocols. Just a couple of examples here, SSH, NTP is actually one of those, uh, as long as you run it with authentication, of course, uh, and AAA. With control plane, that's our ability to route, and of course, what's that going to be? Our routing protocols and related traffic. And the data plane, that's the ability to forward data. It's just our good old data that we're forwarding around the network. Like I said, I'm going to uh, upload the PDF. There's not much more to NFP than what you're seeing on the board, but they've got some examples in there as well that I'd like you to see before you take the exam. And again, this is short and sweet, but the key here is that you've got to have some kind of process when you're approaching your network security, whether it's creating your policies for the first time uh, or actually implementing it. You've got to have some kind of order to it. Otherwise, things slip through the cracks, things don't get done, and we know it only takes one of those to cause us a lot of trouble. That's it for NFP. And like I said, look on Udemy uh, in the extras section and the PDF to download. I'll just put it right up there. So enjoy.